What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the city. I'm Japero, and if this is your first time tuning into my channel, thank you and welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that notification bell so whenever I drop some new heat, you'll be the first to know. Today's video is going to be super cool because today I'm going to be highlighting my favorite top 10 black owned companies, the products. Now, more than ever, it's important that we support black-owned businesses, whether if it's reposting that business, referring someone to it, and for sh definitely purchasing. If it's something that we're interested in, I'm going to link all of these cool companies, these products, in the bio below so that you can possibly purchase and also support. First things first, if you know me, you know I love candles. A candle is the easiest, simplest, best gift to ever get me if you want to get me something. And a very good friend of mine, one of my good sisters, Mrs. Paige Foster, just started a very cool candle company called Incandescence. Emphasis on the scents. Incandescence. Now, this is the largest size she has. Excuse me. And I wish you guys don't want to have burning, but since I got Butterfingers, that might end bad for everybody. Um, But I love the Ocean Breeze scent. It's my personal favorite and also the Moroccan one. Now the Moroccan one is more of like a wood scent, which I like. So if you like that one, I think that'll be one of your personal faves too. Um, man, listen, I've been using these candles for like the past couple of weeks and they have every room in my home smelling beautifully. I'm just so proud of my sister. So proud of you, Sasha. So that's incandescence, incandescence. Make sure you get into it, man. I mean, you want your house to smell good. I don't know why you would, but you'd be surprised. Now, number two. Number two. Let's say number two. Number two is very important because for so many reasons in our community, we think that this right here doesn't require us to wear any sunscreen. I'm here to tell you that's a lie. Skin cancer doesn't care anything about melanin. So it's very important that, that we wear it as well. So... You can kill two birds with one stone, saving your life and also supporting a black business. So I was researching skin sunscreen and I found black girl sunscreen. Now obviously it says black girl, but it's for everybody. They also have a really cool kids line too called black kids sunscreen. Um, this is a really, really dope one because you know how you use that sunscreen and it has at least that white residue on there. You ain't got to worry about that with this one. Um, it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes, so it's really cool if you hang about a pool or some or even if you may get wet out in the rain You ain't gotta worry about that um, And one of my the one thing I love about it the most is that when I put it on my face and my body It's not heavy at all. That's the one I hate wearing things. I, I hate wearing like a Moisturizers or anything like lotions and it's super heavy. It just feels like your skin is being weighed down but with this black girl sunscreen that's the complete opposite. Also, ladies, if you wear makeup, I was reading some reviews. It said that make, um, when you put this over your makeup, you won't feel it again because it's not heavy at all. So it's really, really good. Black girl sunscreen. Check that out. Now, if you know me, number three, you know I love snacks. I'm a snack king. And it's made, you know, it's a terrible thing to have a sweet tooth, but what can we do? Um... So I found a cookie company, Partay Cookies. Um, really cool. The birthday cake is my favorite one. It's my favorite one. It has more of a, a crunchier texture. It's, it's, it's a crunchier cookie um, versus the chocolate chip, which is more, it's more softer. Um, but I love, I love the birthday cake. They also have a third one, um, the butter cookie but these are my two faves um it's free of all of the top eight allergens which are nut it's nut free egg free wheat free dairy free soy free fish free shellfish free mustard free sesame seed free and sulfate free so it's man listen it's on it's honest ingredients it's really good and shit, i might get into some of these now Number four. Number four is another close friend of mine, Chanel. Chanel Foster. She just started a very, very dope body butter business called Silk by Chanel. Now, she has two scents. She has vanilla and unscented. Now, whenever I head out, and I know I'm going somewhere either to, you know, an event or something or whatever. What events I'm going to when COVID. But if I'm going out around some folks, 
I put on the vanilla one because it had you smelling like ice cream. It smells so good. And now the unscented one, I usually put that on, especially like after a hot shower, um, you know, and I'm settling down for bed. I put the unscented one on. But a little bit of this goes a very, very long way. Um, I can put this on 11 o'clock in the morning and I can still be shining if I So I really, really like this. It's Silk by Chanel. So number five, it's very important that we read, read books and not just collect books, but actually read them. I, I kind of found myself in the middle of, in the two of being a person that collects books versus reading them. But doing, you know, doing the peak of the quarantine and the COVID, I promised myself that I would start reading books more. I used to love being a reader, especially in grade school. Um, but these two are my favorite books right now. Well, that I've read during the quarantine. Um, everybody knows I love Langston Hughes. My love for him is unwavering. And this is a book of his selected poems. And also this is the goddess herself, Miss Zora Neale Hurston. Um, this is called Barracoon. This book here is about, she did an interview with the last slave from a from from a known from a known a known uh slave ship called Kujo. And uh this interview is very telling, it's gripping. I ain't gonna lie y'all this book right here made me cry. It's a beautiful book. Um this book isn't as popular as her other ones, like The Eyes of Watching God and you know those other guys, but this one is it's beautiful. Especially as an adult, I think every adult should read this one. Um, beautiful. So again, Zora Neale Hurston's Barracoon and Langston Hughes, the great Langston Hughes, his selected poems. I cannot wait to name my son after him. So, number six. Now, number six is really, really cool because it's amazing what you can find out when you Google stuff. Um, a black owned wine company. Now I know we have like our Ciroc and we have our Douce and our Ace of Spades, but wine goes with every day and everything. There is no wrong time for wine. Um, now the McBride sisters, this is by the McBride sisters. They have, they have a red wine, a white wine. They also have champagne. Now I'm in Atlanta. And I'm in Georgia and I can't have, uh, Georgia is one of those states where you can't have any kind of alcohol or anything sent to you. So I don't think I'll be able to find the champagne unless I really search for it. But the wines are in your local grocer. I'm just pouring a sip just to give y'all that effect. But I already been pouring. It's crazy, right? Now this is a Sauvignon Blanc. Which is really good. Really, really good. I love that. It's so crisp. Uh, because I'm not that big of a red wine drinker. Um, I, I like my whites and I love my champagnes. Um, but just to support, you know, the sisters, I'll definitely try to find the red one. Um, but yeah, that's the McBride sisters. Really good white wine. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, oh, there we go. Yeah, McBride sisters. So get into those ladies. So, so number seven is another personal favorite of mine because people always compliment me on my skin. Um, and to be honest, it's just good jeans. I mean, I mean, I use quality products, but I don't really have that many skin issues. But I do think the quality of product that you use does play a major role in how your skin turns out. Um, for the past five or six years, I was using the brand Kiehl's, which works wonderfully for me. Um, but more recently, I was looking to get into a black skincare line. And so one night my insomnia just kicked in and I was Googling and I found Butter by Dorian Renaud. Um, I like this a lot because, I don't know if this makes sense, but sometimes when you use cleansers, they are really heavy. They're really heavy. This cleanser is super light. And even when you like lather it up and rub it in, it's like super thick. 
but this is very light so that makes me feel good about that and this is the first time that i've ever used like i think that i've used vitamin c the vitamin c drops are really really cool i like those in the month and a half that i've been using these products i've definitely saw um a difference in like more lighter in the skin just more even toned so i really really like these i'm gonna do a review on these um coming soon now this does come with these this this complete set does come with a face moisturizer but it's shea butter and it's super thick and i don't necessarily like how that makes my skin how, how it weighs on my skin so i use so i still use the, the kills face moisturizer but um i love these love these love these love these now number eight uh is another hair product i it is scotch porter now everybody compliments my beard and to be honest i just started my journey back in january so what like seven months ago um and i'm still learning as i go i was for the most part using shea moisture um up until a few months ago i found out that they weren't black owned anymore and so i decided to research more black owned beard companies and skincare and uh scotch border i love the way this smells actually it's like I can't really place the scent, but it's very, it's calming almost, if that makes sense. It's a nice scent. This is the, the beard wash, and this is the beard conditioner. And we also have a beard oil too, but I only have two hands, so. <laughs> but I like this. This is Scotch Porter. Scotch Porter, very, very dope company. So number nine, I have it on, is not for sale. It is a very, very dope black style life company. Um, it is owned by one of my favorite rappers, Chasing Cash. Uh, it's called Can't Buy Respect. And this is like their, their most famous like everyday tea. It's called, it's just not for sale. So like integrity, not for sale. Creative, like creativity, not for sale. Just not for sale. You know, like, you know, everything is, you know, because you can't buy, you can't buy class, you can't buy integrity, you can't buy creativity, you know, those things are for sale. It's really, really dope. I have a few of their pieces, um, like hats, they have hats, t-shirts, shorts, headbands, bandanas. Um, I think it's time that we start normalizing, we start normalizing black lifestyle brands into our everyday, like we do Hanes and Nike and, and stuff like that. Um, check them out. I like them. Number 10, last but not least, my good sister, Carissa, Bo by Rissa. Bo by Carissa, I'm sorry. She can customize any single thing you need. Honestly, I can see this, but this is a champagne flute that has my nickname on it, Creole Poppy. And um, my good sister, man, she can whatever you need she can make it from she's customized so many t-shirts for me so many champagne flutes i mean i have so many custom pieces by her um and i'm so proud of her she's been killing it she also has lip scrubs and essential oils skin oils and um yeah man bow by carissa i need to get into them so that completes my list of my top 10 favorite items by black owned companies. Now, um, there are more companies I wanna include and I definitely will. I just wanted to get this video out because these are things that I use and that are near and dear to me. Um, also wanna take you on a journey one day into my favorite black owned restaurants and just make people more aware of the things that are around them. And so you can't, you know, so that your excuse can't be i don't know where any of these things are or i don't know you know but between now and the next time i'll meet you guys back in the city peace